Well, at least a mama didn't raise no fucking bitch at that, too. And for one, living off the government, everybody lives off the government because apparently you're just saying, pretty much saying that people that live off the government is taking your money to help us live is what you're saying right there and uh you know what's kind of funny is that you're making fun of people that's mildly handicapped and who has a disability problem which I think it's kind of hilarious because you just admitted something about that you're pissed off because you pay taxes and it helps us to live. So that's not really much of an insult. You should think before you come at someone. And... Uh, Please reproduce. No, we're going to keep coming back. Uh, honestly, I really think you like messing with spiritual people. I think you like fucking with light workers because you're sadistic karmic. That's all it is. <laughs> Pretty much your ego is just exposing you of what I need to know about you. That's what it's really doing. That's very comical that you're admitting that you're the slave to the government. And pretty much you're saying that you're pissed off that us mildly handicapped people, once you pay your taxes, you're helping us to live. As well. So you're really much not insulting me. That's just common sense. So you just pretty much admitted that you hate mildly handicapped people. After you pay your taxes, you're helping us to survive. Which you just admitted stupidly right there. So I'm starting to know more and more and more about you, which is very sadistic as well it's kind of comical how you keep coming at people because you've done this before and you've known people to back off that's what it is and uh for my dusty ass mama should have swallowed me Mama didn't raise no bitch. My mom was in Hell Angel too. I was taught to live what I have. You know what I mean? Nobody has it easy. And everybody has difficulties. But pretty much. There's a spoiled fucking brat. Who thinks that. Everybody should be swiped out. God don't see it like that. Or maybe God brought people like us down here to show them how the real world is to wake up. To how serious it is, how they make fun of others. You just purposely exposing yourself more and more and more to me. Which you need to learn how to shut that mouth as well. So pretty much God put us down here to show corrupted people that there's no kindness, no understanding, no compassion as well. And likes to pick at people, but when people start poking at you with how you treat others, I call it karma as well, which I think is pretty funny. Because the only funny thing is that is right here is that you're living off the government too. As well. 
pretty much. And all you do is brag to me that I could never do anything. That I could never get it on my own. <laughs> and you just stupidly admitted about your baby daddy being a broke, broke bitch, pretty much. But, like I said, how are you getting, <laughs> how are you getting it on your own if you're having your mom and dad help you out? That's not getting it on your own. That's not. And yes, I can get it on my own as well. I think it's pretty funny that you're doubting me and you're underestimating me as well. I think it's pretty funny that I really don't give a fuck about your next moves. That's just ignorant falling out your mouth, out your damn throat. Your ego is getting the best of you, which I think is pretty comical at that too. And I just love when people start acting up. And oh yeah, she was never a stripper, but she is a prostitute. So don't be lying. Because I asked my cards, is she a stripper? It said, no. But a prostitute, yes, she is a prostitute. So that's how you're saying you're getting it. And trying to make people a slave. And from how I'm getting, there's no common sense at that too. You're bragging that you have this and that. Working and school, second car, a house. Why do I really give a fuck with what you have? I'm a bum. That's kind of funny because last time I knew I got a roof over my fucking head. I live on my own. Which I think is pretty funny. And I do pay my bills. Which I think is kind of funny how there's no common sense in your mindset at all. And I can spell and I can read at that too. It's pretty comical how pretty much you're a hater towards everybody. And it shows. That's all it is. Pretty much I would be rich if I pretty much... That if I'm exposing you for truly for who you are on purpose and how I'm doing it, I have a weird way of exposing people and they don't even realize it. You know what? You just threw yourself a stupid fucked up a rope to let me know who you are specifically. You threw yourself a rope and you hung yourself with it. Not very smart at that too. And, uh, how the way that you try to offer me to come over there to do your fucking work. How the way you're talking to me, you're talking to me, like, you're talking down upon me that I can't do anything. I'm nothing. I hate to tell you this. I am something. And I'm not going to be a slave to somebody who wants to talk down bad upon me. It's called do it yourself. Because if you were wanting help, you should say, hey, do you, do you want to help me? No, you are demanding shit. I ain't your fucking slave. That's where you fucked up. So I can stay off the internet. What? It's because so I can expose you more and more and more. You have no common sense. You just threw yourself a fucking rope. You've already talked about an hell angel mother of mine as well. You're screwing with my hell angel mother that passed away. Not very smart on your part. And yeah, my family does matter to me because they are special to me. Only certain ones I do care about. There are certain ones I do, certain ones I don't. And you know what? What my mom always told me, work what you can with. 
and accept it. Don't be bragging because it can all be taken the fuck away at that too. And plus, how the way you're trying to insult me is weak as fuck. Your self-esteem is really low. You have low confidence right now of what you're doing. That's why I said you're pulling yourself a rope. Which I think it's funny as fuck. That you have no common sense of how the way you're trying to speak to me. And pretty much you are a bum. As well. You're bumming off your mom and dad to help you. That's not getting it on your own. Because if you were getting it on your own, you wouldn't have to ask your mom and dad for help. You know what I mean? And you pretty much lied. Saying that you're not a prostitute, but you are. And it's revealed. So you think that you're a prostitute, that you can talk, talk pretty much bad upon me. That you can just be going around being a hoe. Keeping your legs open. Treat people like shit. Because you're getting treated like shit. I hate to tell you this. Just because you're a prostitute. Don't give you the right to talk shit and bad about me. Trying to down me. Because that says more a lot about you. Because I was testing you. On a lot of shit. And then, <laughs> it's, it's actually funny. <coughs> I was testing something about you. And my YouTube channel knew it, what I was doing. My YouTube channel knew I was testing you on something. I was testing you as well. So pretty much you just threw yourself a fucking rope. Which I think is fucking comical. <coughs> that now... That my subscribers will know what I'm trying to do. Some some of them do. Some of them don't. And some of them are like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Because they've actually been on my YouTube channel for so long. They know what I'm doing. I do shit on purpose. To expose people like this. On purpose. To expose the real true colors of others as well which is not very smart <laughs> at that too because each time you comment on my shit I'm knowing who you are specifically I will know everything about you your past present future I know everything about you I've done this to a lot of people in lifetime lifetimes actually I've done this before to a lot of people I've exposed them for who they are. I let them go on because I'm testing something to see if you're going to be a decent human being. Or if you're just going to be a fucking nasty, sadistic karmic. Or to see that if you're even at least a decent human being. Or if you're going to be a fucking moron. And also, trying to see... If you have any common sense in that brain. And pretty much you threw yourself a rope. Stupidly not knowing it towards me. So pretty much you want to sit there and call me everything in the book. You want to sit there and say I should have been swallowed. Uh, Mama didn't raise no bitch. She sure in the fuck raised a very smart fucking daughter. To catch narcissistic people reverse psychology who cannot do it this is just people whose their pride's been hurt who's been hurt themselves so they think by hurting others is gonna get pleasure that's what i was testing about how stupid how far you were gonna go how stupid of your insults were gonna go it's weak and it's whack as fuck as well. So I think it's pretty funny. You threw yourself a rope at me. It ain't the first time. I've done this. And a lot of people are shocked. And it usually works out in my favor. Of what I'm trying to figure out. As well. So. Like I said. 
this pretty much shows right here that if you are a prostitute, you are sticking up for the wrongdoings. And someone who threatened rape upon me and got away with it, you think it's okay. No, it's not. I hate to tell you that. No, no, no. And pretty much you're a bum. As well. Because I have my own money. So pretty much, if you gotta be a prostitute to get money, it's because she's a bum. And she's pretty much lied. And my cards would not lie to me at all. Pretty much living off the government is that you just admitted of saying that you hate people that God made that are mentally handicapped. That you're pissed off that you're helping us to live when you guys are perishing off and being banished. You also need to think before you come at me as well. I think it's fucking funny, but that's just my opinion of all the above. Let's see. Yep. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. News of exciting new endeavor, user originality or genuity. Memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children reminiscing on the past. And what I just say not too long ago. That you have an issue of being hurt of what happened to you somewhere in your past, present, future. That you're being a team player of remembering your childhood issues. And you're using manipulation, black magic on others so that you can hurt them. Not going to work. The magician is nothing but black magic, manipulation, narcissistic, a very, very nasty individual who has issues of being manipulated in the past. Or maybe you got manipulated into being a prostitute. Now you're stuck there. That's not my issue, and that's not nobody else's issue. You do not project that onto me with what you fucking have issues with. That's manipulation. You don't ever project that shit onto me with what you've done with your actions. That's why you're being mean to people. That's why you're being manipulative, being mean. And that's why you got people... Teaming up with you to be mean too. Because they got issues. From their childhood. Regarding the past. That don't give you the right to take it out on me. And I've already explained what the fuck happened to me. I was already kidnapped. But. <laughs> like I said. I will talk about shit to get it down. In case if something does happen to me. There's a lot of suspects. And I know half of these suspects are going to kill themselves. If I ever go missing or ever get kidnapped. I am not going to get raped. I am not going to get kidnapped. But what you're doing is completely different. You're just doing this because you're hurt from your childhood. You need to heal. For real. You need to fucking heal yourself. Because, huh. Also as well... Your friends also need healing because a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time of the essence. Think things through carefully. So there are people seeing an issue with why you keep coming at me. There is an issue. There's immediate attention of knowing something is not right with you. To why you keep coming at me for one and for two. They know... That you're trying to do black magic of trying to get justify something of what happened to you. You're not projecting it onto me. I already know what happened to me. My childhood. 
but I'm trying to heal from it. I'm not going to try to put it on everybody else like you are. <coughs> what, did, did your uncle rape you or something? Or your brother, somebody in your family, or some random ass person did it and tricked you and becoming a prostitute? Don't you dare put that projection on me. There's immediate attention that's going to be known and there's going to be action taken upon it. That there's something wrong with you. Like I said, you threw yourself a rope at me to figure out why you're being like you are. Don't you ever project that shit onto me. I'm a divine being. You cannot do it. Sorry. Expecting the worst. So fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. So pretty much I think after this video gets out, you're going to expect the worst. You're going to have sleepless nights, pretty much. I don't know. Maybe there could be something that maybe it's brought to the attention of why you're teaming up with others of trying to bother me. And that you're trying to manipulate as well. There's people who's already took immediate attention. Meaning like people saw an issue and is going to do something about it. After it's taken care of and done and said, it seems like you're going to be having, expecting the worst. So, for prophecies, sleepless nights of how the way you're speaking to me. Because if you're talking to me about the government, that's what you're expecting the worst. Because you're afraid the government's going to come to your ass and question you on why are you talking to me like that. Brilliant news. Yeah, brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging new beginning. Okay, so that's what it is. I guess I'm seeing the truth. I'm seeing the truth of a situation. And that's what you're going to be expecting the worst. Because you were hoping nobody would see the truth of what you're doing. You're acting out when you really don't realize it. Actually, I understand what I'm doing. I know my reasons, but you do it because you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck how it affects others. But some of my YouTube channels and subscribers know what I was doing. Some of them knew because some of them are very spiritually connected to me. I don't know how. Some of them knew what I was exactly doing to figure out why you're acting like this. And it took all this time for me to figure it out. That's the main issue that you're taking stuff out on others just because of your issues in the past. Of that you were raped. And that you were forced into be a prostitute. Don't ever project that shit onto me or others. Because you will get karma for that. And that's what it is. That's the main truth. And also... Fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. So by you acting the fuck up on me. Probably cost you your fucking job. And your working life. All this is going to affect your job life. Where you're not going to be having a job. That's probably going to be your consequence of coming at me. For what happened to you in your past. And you're not going to do it. And that's why you're a bum. That's why you're asking your family to help you. And you're not getting it on your own. You're just lying. You're manipulating right there. Manipulation the magician. You're just trying to make it sound like you have it all together. But truthfully you're all fucked up on the inside. Like everybody else is. You are. You are truly fucked up on the inside. Because you're hurting. You need healing. And you need to learn that people will take a action upon something to figure out what the fuck is your deal. Like I said, that you are a sadistic person, you are living off the government, but like I said, you're trying to make it to where that I'm living off the government, but that's manipulation. Maybe you're the one who's living off the government. And can't stand it that you're a bum who lives with their fucking family. And has no common sense. Like I said, you threw yourself a fucking rope, bitch. 
better stop. Because there are people that will figure out your game. And then that's when you get pissy. Which I think is funny as fuck. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Aww. So, was you a drug addict of selling dope? Because I did mention something about that when you were trying to insult me, which your insults are weak as fuck, they're whack as fuck, that an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Oh, I've said something about that in the weirdest terms, that you have a low self-esteem, something about what, selling dope and everything like that. Yeah, that kind of says a lot. That you lost your job, you're lying to your family, you're making them think that you have it all. But truthfully, you are a bum. You are living with your family. And you are a prostitute. And trying to make people your slaves, which you have no common sense to. You cannot do that. This is America. You cannot do that to another individual. And all this shit is so funny. I'm sorry. It is. It is so fucking comical to me. It ain't even funny. But like I said, I knew I was going to figure it out eventually. That you have an addiction of that. But being a stripper, you, you pretty much told the truth on that. But a prostitute, you're saying you're not, but you are. You cannot manipulate me. You can't. <laughs> I was just like, so funny. That you have a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Yeah, and I've just said that as I was talking, that I believe there's low self-confidence, and I don't know where it's at. I would have to try to go back and re-listen. But, like I said, I think it's pretty comical that it explains of what I'm talking about. That I know the truth behind of a situation, you are manipulating. You are taking shit out on people. Trying to project it onto them out of manipulation. That you think people are going to be a team player of helping you? Uh-uh. That's when the night of fire comes out. Takes immediate attention to your bullshit. Uh-huh. So, you think that you can manipulate people and try to make them think something... Pretty much of everything I've called you out on is that you're trying to manipulate people into thinking that you didn't say shit, but you have. I pretty much called you out on being a liar. That you knew I was being stalked and you're trying to manipulate it, knowing I have it on fucking proof. Explains a lot right there. And just because you have issues from your childhood does not mean you have to take it out on me. Uh-uh. I won't I won't go that route. I've already I've already worked on myself on certain shit. I had to work on myself. I had to heal, but you're not taking shit out on me. Uh-uh. Someone who is a spiritual hater who don't have much spiritual gifts misleading people. Thank you. So that's what I'm saying though. Is that I have spoken truth with my cards. You have been manipulating. And you are a team player. With people. Who are misleading people. Who are a spiritual hater. Meaning that you guys don't even fucking believe in anything. You don't even believe in God. You don't believe in spirituality. You don't. And pretty much there is manipulation of misleading people. That you're trying to tell tell people that I'm a liar but truthfully honestly everybody has known I have spoken the truth I have picked up on a lot of people around the world that if it needs to be known it's going to be known that's point simple blank the karmics have the evil eye on the DFDM so that's what the new yeah news of exciting new endeavor that the karmics or trying to mislead people, trying to manipulate that they don't have the evil eye, that the karmics don't have the evil eye out on the DFDM. 
comical to me. If a person gets mad because you don't trust them, then they have a guilty conscience. So that's what it is. That is your that is your past that people do not trust you. You get mad at people who don't trust you. You don't. You you get so mad that these people do not trust you. And then they know that you have a guilty conscience because not everybody is going to trust everybody, okay? If a person gets mad because you don't trust them, I don't even trust you, okay? I don't trust you. And that's your issue in your past of what you're dwelling on. And that's why you're manipulating and misleading people that you're trying to make it think it's everybody else. No, there's people not trusting your ass because you've got a guilty ass fucking conscience, bitch. This is my ancestors talking. I don't know which one it is, but they're pissed. Karma playing with people's names. Yep. Right here is playing with names. Acts, like I said, you threw, you stupidly threw yourself a fucking rope. That you're playing with people's names. You're misleading people into saying that I was never stalked when I was. You knew that somebody threatened rape upon me and you're saying that it's okay when it's not so like right here about my mom my mom's name you're trying to talk about my family and something like that about everything yada yada yeah so just like i said karma playing with people's names that's what your manipulation is is that that's what karma is going to be people are going to be start playing with your name of whoever you are involved with being a team player with and that's why there was death karma upon these people there's proof again of it making fucking sense you cannot be sitting here telling me that i have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about that's why there's gonna be immediate attention meaning somebody is going to take action to Take immediate attention to know something ain't right. Something is going on. That that's why you're going to be expecting the worst. Because I see the truth and others, others see the truth of a situation to why you're fearing surrounding money of selling that dope, being a prostitute, does deal with drugs. That you have a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action to make your life fucking better. You're not coming out here to make everybody else's life miserable because your life is miserable because you're a fucking bum. Uh-uh. That ain't gonna work. And you trying to talk about living off the government, uh, you have fears surrounding money. So who are you to be talking about making fun of somebody that what? Are you scared that maybe your money got tampered with? And plus, you're gonna lose your... <laughs> Pretty much, your fear is surrounding money because you know that you have no job. That's going to be karma. There's going to be people with you, whoever you teamed up with, to mislead people, to manipulate, to play on people's names from the past who don't trust. That's why. You're playing with names. I knew I would catch your ass. I knew you'd throw yourself a rope. Throw yourself a rope. Throw yourself a rope. I fucking knew it. A fucking clown just fucking told on herself. Eventually, whoop, whoop, I fucking knew it. By playing with names and also by playing with my mother who was in Hell Angel who passed away. You're playing with her name. You're playing with my family's name, which is not very smart on your part. And everybody is going to know why exactly I kept you on here. Why I kept going. Because I see the truth behind the situation. Maybe some people knew what I was doing. Some people didn't. Some people didn't understand what I was doing. A lot of people probably knew. I was taking immediate attention of finding out the truth behind the situation. That a person was acting all fucked up. Congratulations. You just gave yourself away. How do you feel about that? Energy flow, you cannot lie to a divine being. I will catch you. I do this to everybody. 
eventually in time. There was a reason why God wanted me to keep going, keep going, keep going. Was because eventually I would get this message out. Let me see. What is teaming up with others? Being a team player of misleading people. What's this about? What is this about? Team player misleading people. What's up with this bitch and her clicks? What is this about? Fruition. A situation is coming to reality. That you are misleading people and you got people being a team player of trying to mislead people. The situation is coming to reality. It's coming to reality. What about the karmics have the evil eye on the DFDM? What about that? The path. That uh, the DFDM has a path together and it's pissing off the karmics. That's all it is. It's pissing off the karmics that the DFDM is having a life together. And that's the truth behind the situation as well. Let me see. What is <sighs> issue children issues regarding the past about not trusting having a guilty conscience? What's this about? What is this about? Change. You need a motherfucker change. So in order for you to change, people will start trusting you more, but you ain't changing. Because you're being a shitty ass fucking person. That's what it is. You have issues regarding shit, but you have a guilty conscience. You need to change. You need to heal. You need to stop playing. Karma. Playing with people's names. Okay. So let me see. What is this manipulation of karma with people's names? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a couple of cards actually. I'm not gonna just get one. I'm gonna get a couple if I can fit it. Let me see. Growth. You will have no growth. Or you would have to watch people in growth. That's your karma. Of you trying to manipulate, of trying to stop somebody's growth, you're gonna have to watch them have growth as well. You watch them struggle. You are saying this and this and this and this and this. You're gonna your karma is that you're gonna have to watch them grow. That you are gonna wash you're gonna watch them get the great nourishment. You're not gonna get nourishment because you're losing your fucking job. And you will watch people who have the power. To help them grow and to give them the proper nourishment. And to have more abundance properly. That's your karma by playing with people's names. With others. And that's what's coming to fruition. That's what's pissing off. And that's why you're going to lose your job. That's why you're expecting the worst fulfilling prophecy of sleepless nights. And that is the truth. Behind of a situation. That you're going to have to watch all these people having growth. Having the proper nourishment. Having the power to do what they can to get the money that they deserve. And you would have to watch people to have pleasures in life. You are going to not have much. You're going to have to sit there and suffer and watch these people have growth, nourishment, power, abundance, and pleasures, and have the will to do it. Like, you're sitting there trying to trying to say something that, well, you ain't going to get it. You can't get it. Well, guess what? Karma. Playing with someone's name. That's your karma. You're going to have to watch these people get it while you sit there and fucking struggle like a fucking bitch that you are. God works in the most funniest ways. And gratitude to know that it is a blessing to have this message it's a blessing and you're gonna have gratitude to know that this person cannot manipulate you this person cannot play on your name they cannot mess with what god's gotten for you and you are gonna release you are gonna release this fucking insidious narcissistic person who has a guilty conscience, who likes to mislead people, who's getting karma, you're seeing the truth of it, that's what expecting the worst. 
that you're gonna have people releasing your ass and releasing your ass as karma is that saying that you're fierce you're out of money is that you're gonna be losing your fucking job because you got a drug addict issue you have a low self-confidence so you're gonna be watching people rise above you of what you want to be a fucking cunt about shit you want to sit there and try to do this shit god just pretty much said that bitch you fucked up you fucked up. <coughs> Your karma is that you have to do self-reflection. Look in the fucking mirror. Look in the mirror. Point your finger in the mirror. Do self-reflection. You think what you're doing is not going to affect. Oh, but I'm pretty sure if somebody else came hard on you, you would say, well, I don't like that. I don't like being treated like that. That's why you need to fucking change and you need to heal. And there's people going to have patience to release your ass of what you're doing. There's people going to release you from your job, your family, your friends, strangers, co-workers are going to drop you. And going to have the patience to, they know the truth that you need to do self-reflection of stop being a shitty ass fucking person. You have a low self-confidence. What the fuck's wrong with you? You cannot fuck with the divine being. Because half these people that you're around. Realization that they're divine beings too. And they know exactly what you're doing. You're jealous. You're envious of this. That others are blessed. You're jealous because of blooming. This is what you're pretty much going to be jealous about. Is that. Divine beings are realizationing that you have to sit there and suffer and you're pissed off about your karma. Nah, nah. You're going to take this karma. You're going to take it, bitch. Don't run and hide now. You're one act all macho, right? You're one and act all fucking bad, right? Uh-uh. Don't you dare run from it. You need to do self-reflection because you're not acting like a grown-ass, a fucking adult. That you need to surrender... How the way you treat others. Because you're a fucking bully. You are a fucking bully. And the reasons why you're jealous is because you know that there are people in the masculine energy. Who is protecting the weak. Who does not tolerate bullies. Who is spiritually protected. And this is being discernment. Meaning like this is being discovered about your ass. That God wanted this out to be out and about. You need surrender or stop being a shitty ass fucking person. Take self responsibility and stop being shitty towards others. It's fucking funny to me. You're pissed off because I'm spiritually protected and others trust and believe. I've already seen the truth behind of a situation. I had this in my thoughts to why you were doing this. Why you were doing this. I had it all in my thoughts. I fucking knew it. I was just wanting to clarify it, just make sure that I was correct and not just, you know, speaking out my ass. But let's find out what's coming to fruition. What's coming to fruition about misleading people? What's up with that? What's up with you misleading people? And it's coming to reality. Self-esteem. <laughs> and I just said that not too long ago. Your self-esteem is fucking low. Your fucking self-esteem is fucking low, bitch. And I just said it. You throw yourself a rope. Throw yourself a rope, bitch. And I just said it not too long ago. That that's why you're misleading people. Because you have a low self-esteem. And it says right here. Lack of self-confidence. Low self-esteem. Of trying to do something to me. Which you know for a fact what you're doing. You're misleading people. And you know I speak the damn truth. But you're trying to fuck up my self-esteem. Which ain't gonna fucking work. That's what's coming to fruition. Coming to reality. We got a half bag of burritos. A neat pack of hamburgers. And a small bag of french fries. And that's it. And some salt. And some sliced cheese and some butter. But like I said, you got a low self-esteem. Yeah. Right there, too. And how you're misleading people. Mm-hmm. Let me see. What else is going on with fruition? 
what is coming to fruition? Your self-esteem is coming to fruition, and it's showing. Like I said, what is up with the DFDM about what's the path of what, path of what? Learn the best way. Okay, so, okay, so pretty much that the karmics need to learn that the DFDM are going to be happy together, and there's nothing you can do to prevent that. Nothing. You cannot come in between it. Let me see. What is... If a person get mad because you don't trust them, okay, the guilty conscience, but the past needs change. Okay, what does this person need to change who has a guilty conscience? Okay, honestly, right here. Right here is failure. Honestly, this woman feels like a failure because she has a guilty conscience. Nobody trusts this bitch. And regrets of not changing. That's the truth. Knowing a situation. Need to surrender of not being a fucking child. And self reflection. That's why you're fearing surrounding money. Because you were doing shit in the dark. You try to make me a failure. You need to change that. You try to put me in regret. Fuck you. I will always prevail. And others. Whoever else, you try to mislead whoever's in your fucking clique, that's why there's death karma. Yeah. Plus, with all these people, you try to mislead all the karmics. That's why karma, playing with people's names, that's why you're getting karma. Because you could not change of trying to make people feel like a failure in regret. Now, guess what? That's also your karma, that you try to put others as a failure, and you try to make people in regret... That's what you need to change. So that's why your karma is going to be that you're a failure, you're in regret, and you're trying to project it onto others, which I was correct about your ass. Pretty fucking scary. Let me see. What is, what is the karma that they're going to have to watch? I'm going to have to keep these together. Okay, growth. What are... What is the karma that that this bitch is going to have to watch? What is growth? What karma are they going to have to watch? They're going to have to watch growth and denial. Going to have to watch us people. Growth is in denial about her karma. She's in denial about the karma. Nourishment. What's nourishment about? Freedom. That there's going to be freedom away from your ass. That there is going to be proper nourishment. Is what she's going to have karma. Is going to have to watch. That's why she's in denial. Let me see. Power. Success. So she's pissed off. And going to have to watch. Karma is going to make her watch. That we do have more power. And that we are successful people. Pretty much. That's what's fucked up. So let me see, abundance, what's abundance? Loneliness, so pretty much that you try to make us feel loneliness by trying to make us lose our abundance, uh-uh, that's going to be your karma, you're going to be loneliness because also that too is that I know I'm never alone, so that's going to be your karma that you're going to have to watch our abundance to grow while you sit there in loneliness while you lose your fucking job. Let me see. Pleasures. What's pleasures? Patience. That, yeah, you're you're going to have to watch it because your karma, by playing with people's names, pleasures is going to be patience to, it's going to kill you very slowly. Of It's going to kill you to have to watch all of us, all of us to be having pleasures in life, to be happy without your ass, without you in our lives let me see what's will what's will purpose see you see you're gonna have to sit there and watch people who have a will and have a purpose to not tolerate you that we can call judgment upon your ass 
that's truth and integrity. That's why you're going to have self-prophecies self expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling self prophecies, sleepless nights. You're going to have to watch people's purposes and who have the will to do it. That's your karma. You have no purpose. You're going to have to watch us succeed. Now, what's gratitude? Gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude on top of it. Have gratitude to understand that, yeah, that there's gratitude on top of gratitude, meaning that we have gratitude to understand that you're getting karma and you're going to have to watch us have gratitude while you sit there and regret failure, low self-esteem, being a bitch, being a fucking narc. And that's why you have a low self-esteem. That's why you're losing your fucking job. You have a drug addiction. We have gratitude. I understand. Now what's release? Change. That's why we... You're going to be watching us releasing you. That's why you're going to be losing your job. That's why you got low self-esteem. That's what you're in denial about. You have a low self-esteem. You try to make others a failure. You try to make others regret you're gonna have to watch us change into a better human being while you sit there and being all stupefied pretty much of what you did let me see what's patience empathy that you're gonna have to sit there and have to suffer of looking not just at your story you have to look at both sides of the story and you don't that's your karma okay so all this karma and relationships as well. You're not going to be having relationships. Not after what you've done too. That's your karma. Let me see. That try to make others lonely. You try to put people in denial. You cannot mess with the divine being. People are realizing that you are in denial. About trying to make people a failure. That's what your karma is. That you're going to feel loneliness. You're... You're fucking jealous of leaders, protectors, that you're pissed off because we're spiritually protected and this is what's being revealed about you because you can't fucking surrender that you don't know how to look at both sides of the story. And, and your relationships are going to be all fucked up. That's why you need to do self-reflection until you learn how to grow the fuck up and learn how to surrender. If you don't do that, you're losing your friends. You're losing your friendship or relationships because of what you try to do. You try to make everybody look like a failure? Uh-uh. Not. Mm -mm. Nope. You fucked up. Pretty bad. And that's what's being realization about. This is how you are. You're pissed off because people are spiritually protected from you and has been, and has been um, discernment. It's being discovered. Let me see. Let's see, what is self esteem? Let me see. What is what is self esteem that's coming to fruition about this fool? Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Act of kindness, giving, or receiving with a great heart. So you are not doing it with a great of heart. So so by you having a low self-esteem, by trying to do it to everybody else, that you're trying to mislead people, it's coming to fruition that you're being a team player about being manipulative about having a good heart, having good attentions. That's why you got low self-esteem right now. Let me see. What is... About learning the... Okay. So let me see. A positive new emotional experience. Fulfilling romantic relationship. Deep and lasting spiritual insight. So DFDM will always have insight about a nasty karmic. That's got an evil eye out on them. All times. All times will know it. Let me see. What is this? Having a guilty conscience. Yep. 
An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So, oh, I guess I do have a lot of shit on you. That's documents and contracts. Meaning that there's truth about you on this fucking board, bitch. That you have a guilty conscience because you know you try to make me a failure. You try to make me feel regret. You try to change me into thinking I was something else you try to make me have a guilty conscience when it was really you that's what you're getting karma about and that's what's the truth coming to reality that i have my spiritual guides and god has the contracts documents of contracts on your ass that you try to change that you try to try to turn me into a failure and regret that's what you're getting karma about already got already got it on you you're fucked up let me see. Let me see. What is... What is the karma for the bitch? Let me see. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So, yep. You tried... You know what? You're going to have to see it in a... You're going to have to sit back and see that the magician... You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successfully beginnings. Okay, so pretty much you're getting karma by playing with my name, by trying to manipulate, but I'm doing it in the proper way of manifesting it properly. You did it a fucked up way. That's what you get karma. You have to sit there and watch my life and everybody else's be beautiful. That we know how to manifest properly without manipulation. Make choices for your from your heart. Deeply emotion, emotional commitments. The power of love. Oh, so you did try to fuck up people trying to love and care for me. That's why you also get karma, which you're going to have to wash watch that that i'm gonna get the proper nourishment that i need because you tried to make it to where i didn't get that nourishment uh -huh. what's power about the chariot determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others so yep seems like you're gonna have to sit there and watch me be successful by others Meaning that I'm determined, I have self-control, and I have acknowledgement of success. That you're going to have to sit there and pretty much look dumb to everybody. That pretty much you just embarrassed the fuck out of yourself. You did. You just embarrassed yourself pretty fucking bad. Let me see, what's abundance? It's important to have balance, work multiple jobs or project at once making work fun yep so that's abundance i know how to make work fun and pretty much me doing tarot is kind of a job and that's what you're in denial about that's what you can't look at you can't change of how much i have gratitude i have a purpose i have the patience you are going to be lonely in this. You know I'm successful. And you know that when I got away from you to get freedom, you know I'm successful. You know I'm never alone, but you try to make me think I was. Patience. Patience of a purpose. Have gratitude to change. To understand both sides that you're in denial of this. That's what's coming to reality. That's a realization that you're jealous, envious, that I'm a leader. You need to do self-reflection and learn how to be a grown-ass fucking adult. You better learn before you start coming at someone to learn how to surrender before you embarrass yourself. Embarrass the fuck out of yourself as well, too. You need to learn how to stop throwing a rope at yourself. Let me see. Pleasures. Pleasures in life means happiness. You're going to have to sit there. And watch us have a happy life. Make a wish. Dreams come reality. A joyful 
time of life. Yeah, make a wish, dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. That your karma is that you have to watch me and others, whoever you hurt, being a team player about. Whoever is in your mix is going to have to watch us people have the enjoyment of life to be happy. Exactly. Let me see. What is will about? Ask your angels for help, people, to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Okay. So, pretty much that I have the will to ask my angels for help. For helpful people to lighten your load and understanding that you're working hours to please others that's what it is that you're gonna have to sit there and have to understand that you have the will to trying hard to please others by trying to insult me and others and whoever you are misleading, whoever you're misguiding, whoever you got teamed up with. It ain't gonna work. Let me see. What is gratitude? What is gratitude? Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So, yep, you're gonna have to sit there and watch all of us heal from wounds. Yep. What is release? What is release? What is release? Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action and need for detoxification. Okay. So release. Release. Pretty much that your karma is that you have to watch us release that it's time to make a decision and be clear of what you want and take action. So pretty much you have to sit there and watch us take action of what we want to do. That you're not going to control it. Let me see. What's patience? A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Yep. So that's what it is. Have patience. That I do have, I can resolve this, which I already have. Need to withdraw from the drama of others, which would be this fucking numbskull right here. Have patience with yourself and others around you. So, what I'm thinking is that, also on top of that, Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So, pretty much of not understanding that you're also gonna have to... I believe you're a energy vampire. That you're feeling everybody's emotions not in the proper way. So, that's all it is. And that's what it is. is that you're gonna have to sit there and watch growth. You're gonna have to watch us having successful life that you're gonna have to watch us real witches us real divine beings who knows how to manifest properly who knows how to manifest without being cruel who don't mislead people who does tell the truth that nourishment that we are gonna be treated with nourishment you're gonna have to sit there and watch us being nurtured and nourishment properly. You try to make it to where we people get treated like shit. Which ain't going to work in your favor. Let me see. Power. That you have to watch. That's your karma. That you have to watch that. We are determination and have self-control. Meaning we got control. Not you. You have no power here. Okay. You have no power. That's your karma. By playing with people. Let me see. Abundance. Yeah, pretty much learning to have balance, jobs, or projects. Make work fun. Try to. Then let me see. Pleasures. Make a wish, dreams become reality. A joyful 
time of life so that pretty much you have to sit there and watch us pretty much be happy while you sit there and be miserable as a fucking karmic that you are pretty much pleasures that we do ask our angels for help to lighten our load but we understand that you're trying your hardest to please others by insulting by playing with people's names i knew i'll catch you eventually of what you were doing will that you have to watch us release the past and you will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So that's your karma. That you have to watch us heal. Gratitude. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want. Take action. So pretty much that since you're being released. You have to watch. For karma. You're going to be watching us. Of taking action. Without fear of being clear. Now there's release and patience. Patience to know that we can solve anything. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. That that's what it is. is that you're pissy because you know that... We are very, 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 very spiritual people. And also, I don't want to mention something too, is that you're in denial. That I have others who understands this. You are in denial about what's been revealed. You wanted this to be revealed by you messing with me. Also that too. You wouldn't see both sides of a situation. You wouldn't change. You didn't change. You were trying to change, like, honestly, like, with the manipulation. You tried to change it to where I was a failure. I had regret. But you can't change what you've done. Change is that showing that you're not going to mess with the divine being. That you're the one who's manipulating the bad way. Now, there was two magicians. There was one and the bad one. That tried to play karma, okay? Try to fuck with people on a bad level, okay? Stuff like that. So, also on top of that, is that you need to change because you got bad karma. We're changing because we know how to manifest properly. We are divine beings. You're not. You're a fucking karmic. You're misleading people and you do not love yourself. You're on the wrong path. Of thinking that you can destroy and you think others deserve a lesson, which it's not there. Your lesson needs to understand that you cannot keep playing with people's names and not expect karma. That's what your ass got. You got karma and death karma as well. Whoever is in your clique as well. Gratitude to know that you do have a purpose of knowing that this person tried to put your self-esteem down. It came to fruition that it's them, not you. You see the truth of a situation, and that's why they're having expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecy sleepless nights. Because there's patients that they know that they're going to be loneliness of trying to put you loneliness. That you did get freedom away from this person, and also knows that you are successful. And is in denial that you are a successful person. You know what? All of us are struggling. All of us don't have what we have. A lot of people don't brag. But you know what? God can take it away from you. I can guarantee you that. And also being in denial that your relationships are going to be fucked up. It will be taken away from you. Your job is going to be taken away from you. Your Job as a prostitute is going to be taken away from you. You being a bum is going to be taken away from you. Your car is going to be taken away from you because you have low self-confidence. You're afraid to take action to stop selling that dope. Like I said, you have no common sense. God just pretty much revealed pretty much one group 
is a dumbass, dumbasses, and one group is a divine who are smart, intelligent, who understands and realizes the situation. Yeah, there's people on the idiot side who got karma by playing with people's names who didn't manifest properly. They manifested lies, manipulation, reverse psychology, misleading people. And then you got people over here that did have the magician. They know how to properly manifest without manipulation, without lies, without reverse psychology. There's two different groups here. The people that are misleading and the one over here is the one who sees the truth of a situation who took immediate attention of knowing that those people who who are going to get karma by playing with people's names in the worst way that they're expecting the worst. They're going to lose their fucking job because they're getting over an addiction and they have a low self of fucking confidence. That's why they got a low ass self esteem. They try to bring others in the mix of this. And it's coming to fruition that it pretty much backfired on them. Because they're not understanding. This is contracts and documents that people can have a paper trail. And this can be legal matters. Or this can go into spiritual court. At that too. So. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I've already talked too much. But like I said, you cannot mess with the divine being. You cannot confuse the two. One group did it in a bad way. One group knows how to do it to prove a point that's very powerful. Who realizations that they are protected. These people, on the other hand, are not so much protected. Because they're not learning their lessons. They are a failure. They regret. They have self, low self-confidence right now. But like I said, you have seen the truth behind of a situation. And have a nice day.